I'd like more on the walls. I'd like it to be bigger. I want a TV. I want more visually in the room. I'd like a mural. I'd like it to be cooler. The Saunders unit of the Sydney Children's Hospital Randwick has worked really closely with its young people through using experience-based co-design to give them ownership of their space here as well as hopefully reducing rates of seclusion and restraint. The patients have designed the whole room rather than us as health professionals telling them what the room should be and what it should be used for. We've really met them on their level to design this environment. The mural in the sensory room was a really exciting project to undertake. Um, myself and Tim Tolte, the manager of the art program, collaborated with patients and nurses from the ward to come up with the concept and design. We workshopped a series of ideas, eventually deciding on a geometric abstraction of a sunrise to a sunset theme. Um, the different shapes and colours were voted on by the patients and the staff. Patients were able to collaborate right through from realisation to completion. We've asked all of our patients how they want to use it. So they will be writing the policy around this as well to really guide um, what we should be doing with it and how they want to use it, how they want to access it. So it's our hope for the sensory room to improve patient care overall and this is going to be through the implementation of a sensory room policy which will be created using experience-based co-design as well as the use of individualised sensory kits on the ward to help patients transition smoothly from inpatient to community. I use it to take time. I use it for space. I use it when I'm crying. I use it when I'm frustrated. I use it when I want time away. I use it when I want to be alone. When I want a breather. For relaxing. For naps. And I use it just to get away from the world.